Right, good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <clears throat> I hope it's been all right, depending on where you're at, I guess. Um, <laughs> that, that, question, uh, that question could be quite variable. Um, uh, hey, look, it is what it is. It's 2020. Um, but I hope you have managed to have a little bit of a break, a little bit of a switch off. Um, we're still here because we've all drunk too much and we've all eaten too much. Um, and hence, we're going to carry on with our training and not a big one today. <clears throat> so if you have a look in the back, my board's just twisted a little bit on me, but that's all good. Uh, right, there we are. Um, <clears throat> we've just got a few eight-minute pieces. We're only going to have a short break in between, 30 seconds. Um, and it's all just going to be nice and steady, so we find good rhythm, we can push it out a little bit if we can, um, just really get into a good fitness zone, um, and just pump it along that way. Okay, so as you can see, we'll just do the first one right out at 20, <clears throat> second one will be four minute changes, 20 and 22, third one will just be 22, and then the fourth one will be two minutes at 20, four minutes at 22, in the last two minutes at 24. Okay, so very, very easy. Um, knock out a bit over half an hour, just enough to get a good sweat on, um, feel good about ourselves, and ultimately, uh, yeah, just uh, just do a little bit of fitness and, and burn that away. Okay, so really simple. Um, we'll just jump on quickly now, <clears throat> get a bit of a warm-up going, and then, honestly, we'll be into it. Okay. Who doesn't love a good shot of coffee in the morning? Right, here we let's do it. Okay. So I'm just going to jump on. Uh, same as always. Let's check where the drag is. Just start limbering up. Oh, who doesn't love that feeling of not being on the <clears throat> row for a couple of days? Okay, we're just nice and loose, <clears throat> shake it out, start feeling that stretch, okay, put ourselves into a good position, as always, we should just always do this little bit of a warm up, just make sure, only has to be a couple of minutes, this gives us enough. really get loose, start feeling the flow, feel the machine, doing some work, stretching the arms, okay, just letting all the bits and pieces extend. <clears throat> Okay, nice. And then we just start to <clears throat> squeeze up that intensity a little bit. Nice. Just pushing it in. <clears throat> Still feeling the hang. Really good. Okay, yeah, nice seat coming under. Extension under the armpits. <clears throat> and just like that. Okay, heart rate comes up. We're good to go. Okay. So let's get ourselves ready to rock and roll. I feel like I'm going to get quite puffed in this one for some reason. Uh, cool. Okay. So, <clears throat> as always, jump on now. 
select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals time, okay, and that's going up to eight minutes, and then our rest period is just going to be short today, okay, so just take that to 30 seconds, um, and then we'll just leave it flashing, and we'll give everyone 15 odd seconds, so as I say, go to intervals, time, eight minute set time, 30 second rest time, <clears throat> and then uh, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. So make sure we're still online. <clears throat> okay, so let's press our little box. We're good to go. Okay. Lock and load. Okay. So eight minute pieces, 30 second break. We'll get through it pretty quick. As I say, we're just setting into a good pace, <clears throat> good rhythm, good flow. Uh, and then, as I say, small break, so we just get a quick time to just refocus, and then we're straight back into the next one. Okay, here we are. Pick up the handles. <sighs> nice and set. Are you ready? Rope. Get into our rhythm. Taking this first little bit. Just to feel our, feel our hands moving. Nice and loose. Around the recovery. That's good. So that's our rhythm. On 20. We're just finding our metronomic feeling. The ratio. It's really feeling all the different parts of the stroke. And how we just move it as one. Try not to have too much pause or slow in too many places. That's good. We don't want to just stop at the back. I'm going to let that hand move out. Chain. Start taking us forward. Nice. Okay. We've got the pressure. We've got the flow. Start to feel our feet. <clears throat> the drive creation. They push. And a hang. Both feet. They drive body. Or we hang on the arms. Really good. Staying loose. Really good. We're just holding that rhythm and speed. Mm -hmm. 
Very metronomic. Trying to be as loose as possible. That's good. Good flow. Nice, sit back. So as we push those legs. <clears throat> and swing off to the hips. And just open out on us. That's the sit back feeling. Through the stroke. Not opening up off the front. With the big muscles. Sequence of stroke. Really allow the hands to stay out the front. And hang. Good. Nice. Good speed. That's it. The rhythm. <clears throat> Trying to stay loose. Not too tense. With the fingers around the handle. But they have a good grip, but we don't want to be choking. We don't want to be tense in the wrist too much. <clears throat> Especially around the back, just let it loose, floppy. Allow it to go forward. And then as we come into the catch, just enough to feel connected. Through the arms, under the armpits, good long hang, nice, there's the rhythm, there's the flow. Nice. Good. Starting to get that warmth on in the body. Heart rate's up. Breathing's coming. Starting to feel more comfortable with the amount of pressure that we're putting in. Slowly working on that improvement. <clears throat> nice. Okay, excellent work so far. <clears throat> Feel the push. Okay, both feet. Feel around the back, a little bit of pressure against the toes. Feel the transfer. There's a chain, does the work in getting us back. Nice. Yeah, the rhythm. Way. Okay, excellent. Okay, short rest period. 
just enough to have a bit of a mental break. And then we're straight back into it. Okay, nice. Okay, so we split this one at the half May mark. 20, 22. Here we go. Now. So take the first 20, 30 seconds. Find our rhythm. Breathe into the pressure. Push back onto what we were doing. Here it comes. Okay, stuck it in. Nice. Okay, back on this metronomic rhythm. Good. Feel the body opening out. One drive. Feel like the pressure. There's only one creation and one carry. We don't give it anything through the middle. We don't feel like there's an extra jump. And what we're doing, we just hang <clears throat> and push. Good. Handles. Draw to the body. Trying to keep flat wrists. Good. Nice. Good flow. Trying to push on a little bit more speed. If we can, always testing the possibilities. One more split. Can I do it efficiently? Can I get it with the hand? Switching off the legs. So remember, around the back, try and be loose. Soft knees, supple. Handles come out, over top, and we just float forward with the chain. Okay, good. That supple feeling. Getting the machine. <clears throat> Do some work for us. Good. Good flow. That's it. That's nice. <clears throat> okay, so coming down for the change. Freedom. Move the hands. Tap it along a little bit quicker. Okay. Moving up to 22, this one. Now, just like that, there's our extra rhythm and speed. Good. Okay, all we've done is move a little bit quicker Gain speed. Nice. 
Good rhythm. Good momentum. Hands around the back. Nice. Good flow. <coughs> okay, so everything's moving a little bit quicker. <coughs> Tends to be more precise. We come into the catch. Roll in and away. Okay, don't load the front. It's perfect, this change of direction. Roll in and away. Around the front. Around the front. Feel the spring. It's compressed and we just let it loose. Control. That's good. Nice. Yeah, coming into the front. Onto the feet. Yeah, excellent. Remember, staying loose in the shoulders, hanging under the armpits. Nice. Excellent. And we're holding this rhythm, holding this momentum, core. With the machine. Good. Very metronomic. Back and forth. Nice. Never having a stop point on the stroke. Always moving. Always flowing. Speed of the machine. Yep. Final part to the set. Stay relaxed. Stay loose. I'm going to be back here shortly. Okay, here it is. Okay, nice. Starting to get a sweat on now. Okay. Not long a break. Quick drink. Keep moving. Okay, we have to focus this first 30 seconds. Back on speed, back on rhythm. Here we go. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> so onto that 22. Think about where we were 30 seconds ago. Good hang. There it is. Good. Okay, commit to the rhythm. <clears throat> Fine. Momentum. Keep the breathing. Here's our freedom. That's nice. Okay. Hands around the finish. Brush the body. Let them 
Go out with the chain. Nice and loose. <clears throat> Focus there. Back over the knees. You've got soft knees. So it's not hard. Once the body, the arms go out over top. Just a nice soft break. I just carry forward. Nice, that sets us into the front. Don't have to be set straight off the back. Time to do it. Coming forward. Good. That's it. Feel the feet and the shoes. Pressure against the strap. And transfer it. Balls of the feet. That's good. Nice. Allows the seat to come underneath. We have nice flat position. Sitting tall. Okay, breathing into it. Onto the pressure. Checking our splits. Consistency. Maintaining. Nice, smooth. Good pressure. Good numbers. Nice momentum. Feel that seat. Even just the stretch. A little bit in the calves. And the ankles. As it comes underneath. Find ourselves going round the front. Pushing away. Nice. That's our rhythm. Okay, let's focus our push. As we've got the seat into the front. Let's long arm it. Let's leave them out long. Let's start with that. Armpits, handles just hung, it's connected to the flywheel, and we just push the muscles back. Okay, good. Legs create, quads, glutes. Okay, and the back hinges through the middle. Nice. Excellent. The rhythm. That's it. Feel it dry. And then switch off. The only tension is from here to here, okay? So it's only about a third, not quite a half of the whole stroke, okay? 
that initial part through here, through the middle, everything else, it's just relaxation. Okay, trying to get minimal slip around here. Just enough to get the take up. We can't get it straight off the front unless we hit it. So we've got to be smooth. Nice. Okay, excellent flow. Continuous motion. Nice. Yeah. Okay, last minute. Stay loose. Stay relaxed. Keep it moving. That's it. Around about 100 meters or so to go. Finish it well. Last 10 seconds. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. Last set. Just remember, we're starting off this one at 20, so it's going to feel a little bit laboured. Okay, ratings down a bit, I feel the flow, and we'll change up at two minutes. Here we go. Now, okay, so we've got to get, feel the time, just work into it. Quite a contrast from our 22. We'll feel quite a lot slower. Just build into the pressure. Okay, good. There it is. So let's start working on this pickup. Down the front. Feel the length of the drive. We can do that at 20. Okay, good. It's good to go back and rate just to get that check of our length, of our patience of the connections, the sequencing. And of our relaxation. Okay, good, another 30 seconds at this. Flat draw. One push. Both feet. Nice. Okay, preparing to change up. 22. First one. Now. Okay, freedom. Okay, different rhythm. It's more looseness. Faster recovery. That's nice. Mm. 
nice and centered. Both feet. Metronome. Feel that momentum. Patience. Let the hands come to us. Brush the body. Around the back. That's good. Both feet. Now let's push it out. Pinch yourself. You've got your heart rate. Just check. See if you can squeeze a little bit more. Okay, last set. One more split. Okay. Doing it properly. Nice. Feel the flow. Hands around. That's it. Good. Halfway through. Momentum. And swing. Remember the body. Half the legs. Allows us to sit back through the stroke. Excellent. The rhythm. <clears throat> That's a That's nice. Hang. Swing. Feel the push. Nice. Okay, shake it out. Stay loose. Refocus. Okay, last minute at 22. I'm going to free it up for the way home. Hit the handle, brush around. Brush around. Don't need to smack it into the body. Nice, heads up. Open the mouth. Breathing. That's good. Okay, feel that. Nice. Okay, preparing for the change. Free it up. Up to 24. Now. The pendulum. Metronome. That's nice. With them around. That's it. Hold that speed. Continuous motion. Excellent. Okay, really good. Just moving with our rhythm, with the speed. The machine doing the work. Chain pulling up, back to the front. See, so come under. Connect around. Around the front. Nice. Yeah, good. Hold that speed home while staying relaxed. Okay, 
Nice. Switch off. Stay loose. Open the mouth. Relax the face. Hold the composure. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> Great work, team. Starting to get a bloody good sweat on there. Okay. Just save it into your memory. Press the menu button a couple of times. Okay. That'll dump it down to your logbook. Okay. Great work, quite simple. <clears throat> Allows us to do just a bit over half an hour. Okay. But it's a reasonable amount to think of. Okay. A few sets where we're just zoning in, zoning into the rhythm. And then a couple with a bit of a change where we have to focus a little bit more on how we're doing it, the freedom, etc., etc. Okay. Otherwise, really good. Take a couple of minutes to spin it down. <sighs> really good, okay? <sighs> Satisfying. Let's put it that way. Didn't need to get into anything too hard. I'm assuming, assuming, most people have had a couple of days just chilling, chilling at home. Christmas spirit, new spirit, but of eggnog, it is, okay, this just gets us back onto that routine, <sighs> nothing too major, just enough to tick us over, okay, so really good, nice work, job done. Okay, so excellent, excellent rhythm. Um, you know, majority of the training that you do, when I say the majority, at least half, if more if you can, but it is it's hard to do, um, it's just constant aerobic sort of work you know today we're definitely not getting out of our aerobic zones might have pushed out of there a little bit if we're working too hard um or if we haven't been home for a while <laughs> um but it is just it's just the blood flowing through your system the energy system's working really well uh getting enough oxygen in put it through the muscles <coughs> and we're not <coughs> we're not putting ourselves under a lot of tension okay we're just finding that rhythm We've got enough clarity to be focused on what we're doing and we're just literally putting the fitness into the body, okay? So every time we do something like that, it's just making us fitter, making us a little bit more healthier, possibly. Um, and, and that's just the idea around it, okay? And you just, we have to do it. It's bread and butter. It's like going for a jog, you know, or jumping on the bike and just biking around. Um, that's the type of stuff we've got to do. We've got to do a bit of it. Um, but we can focus on it at the same time, you know, which is what we've done today. We had a good mixture, a couple of changes in between, um, and it works really, really well, you know. And so if you are at home and you're doing stuff by yourself, just remember, you know, you could take this workout, <clears throat> but what you could do is you could do the first one at just 20, and then the second one could be two-minute changes, 20, 22, 20, 22. You know, now do 22 for, this, for the second one, or you could just go – and do that again, and you, or you could change every minute. You know, if you're, if you're trying to find rhythms and you're really trying to work on, <clears throat> on the difference in speeds and bits and pieces like that, just doing changes like every minute, going 20, 22, 20, 22, 20, 22, like that, all the way through like an eight-minute piece is a really great way of just learning how, where, where, it needs, where things need to happen in order to control the stroke to control your rhythm, okay? Because, yes, the machine still needs to do work for you, but 
we don't want to go 22 and then 20. Oh, okay, how do I do it? Do I stop here and, and then let it go forward? Or do I just let it actually just a little bit smoother forward? Um, you know, bits and pieces like that. So there's, oh, it's endless possibilities, but it's about working on what you need to work on in terms of finding your rhythm so that when we take it up and rating, you can feel the changes a little bit easier. Okay, and you can work on those um, throughout the time. So, <clears throat> see if anyone's had a yarn. Thanks, Eric. Cheers, Andy. Uh, Jeremy, thanks, Eric. So, find a real nice rhythm. Yep. Okay, and that's it. Um, as I say, most of our work, <clears throat> most of our stuff we need to do is at 20 to 22, okay? Um, I'm not a huge fan. We've done a little bit in the past, but we don't do it really at the moment. Um, of going down to sort of that 18 strokes a minute. There is a time and a place for that 18 strokes a minute. Um, but I feel that you start getting into some sort of bad habits because your numbers are pretty slow. <laughs> and so you start pulling on it. You start lifting too much. You try and just muscle the stroke a little bit. Whereas at 20 and around that sort of 22, you just got enough time, you know, and, and the, the machine's creating that rhythm for you. It's taking you forward. The body feels like it starts getting into that pendulum motion, you know, with enough swing. Whereas, see, on 18, you've, you're driving, you're still driving quite solidly, but then you've got a lot of time coming forward. And so there's like, there's a disconnect between that, that drive and that recovery. And there is a time and a place for it. Um, and it just really depends on what you're doing. And I just don't think that <clears throat> if you were like into rowing on the water a lot, competitive, trying to be good, you probably do want to spend a bit of time there. Um, but if we're just doing it for fitness, which I'm assuming most people here are, um, 20 is absolutely perfect, okay? And that's exactly where we want to be. Uh, EM, Vendent, Van Van hi Eric, good Christmas session. Um, I know you talked about breathing in the past, Harry, but I was at my physio last week and she remembered to breathe out during the pool work. What is your opinion? Um, okay, breathing. Ha, honestly, bah, breathe when you can. Um it's it's an interesting one because I find at the lower ratings, I'm basically breathing on both the pull and the like on both both ends. Okay, so I'm breathing basically as I drive. I'm I'm sometimes breathing in and breathing out at the finish, and then I'm breathing in again on the recovery, breathing out before the before the catch. Okay, um, there there is a point. And you'll find it as you do your work that there's sometimes there'll be a rating for you. And I find mine's about 24, whereas I can't do that anymore. And then I've got to only breathe once or I've got to take short breaths in to get twice. Okay, so is it better doing short breaths or one breath? Okay, so it is very, very individualized. <clears throat> But you just have to try and find the rhythm that creates it, you know, like, so if you can only take, say, a three-quarter breath in, then take a three-quarter breath in, you know, if you can't go, you know, like, or you just got to be like, it's got to be a bit faster, um, that's what has to happen. But breathing is a really interesting sort of concept around rowing, especially. And on the water, you'll find, and far out, I could tell you the number of times where I got short of breath after, like, the first 500 metres, because... You just you're, you're breathing so short, and then the next minute you're like, "Shit, I don't have enough oxygen in my muscles." <laughs> you know, like you'll hear people or anyone, even if you've done a 500 meter on here, you'll just be like, "Shit, I'm I'm," <laughs> you know, like you start to sort of feel like you're hyperventilating. So it does take an art. It's a bit of an art, and it, you just got to keep working on it. So this is the thing about rowing: is that not only are you trying to think about your technique, you're trying to think about your breathing. Um, you're trying to focus on, on everything that's around you, on the time that's there or the rating that's there to try and hit your speeds or try and hit your rate and your breathing. Um, and so it's this huge element that comes together. But you will find, and, and so the only thing I can give you in, in terms of this question is, at different ratings, you'll find there'll be different times when you're going to breathe. Okay, and it might be twice on the whole overall stroke while you're doing it. So one in and out as you drive and then in and out as you recover. Okay, but then as it gets up, the breathing might get shorter um, or else you have to find it's like, like one big push and then. Okay, so you just have to really work on that. Okay, and just find out something for yourself. Um, Savannah, thank you very much. A great coaching session. Wish you have a new year. Thank you. Um, thanks. Great Christmas row. Uh, do you suggest feed out rowing? Um, so what pace? Lisa. 
Um, feed out rowing is a great exercise. Um, we may, may have even been you, Lisa, that asked this question um, back before the break. Um, anybody that hasn't done it, um, basically you're just rowing with your feet up on top. Um, if you do have, if, if you think it might be a bit of a struggle, just put your feet in, but keep the strap like really loose so that if you do take a big stroke one and you're like, you're not like, whoa, oh, coming off the bat. Um, feet out rowing is good, probably around that 20 to 22. And it's just about as you, as you finish the stroke, it's that engagement. And it actually, it's good for what I teach a little bit because we don't want to have in our stroke this, it pulls into the body. So if you are thinking of finishing in front and you're finishing here, your feet will actually lift off a little bit and you need enough to feel that change in direction. So the chain come back over and then you get your weight back over onto the feet. It's a very good workout. Um, I find lower ratings. I think if you start getting up too high, what's going to happen is that as you start getting up higher and higher, you're going to start to finish a little bit more like this because you don't want your feet like coming off the back and you've got nothing to hold it on. So you start to finish in front of the body a little bit because you don't have you don't have that 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 ability to hold your feet going because you, at 20, you've still got that momentum of the chain and bits and pieces. But if you're up on 28, you'll start to do this or you'll start to go to sort of hold your feet down rather than opening out. Okay, so good exercise. It does help a little bit more with the core. Um, so if you'd like to do it, um, by all means, just give it a whirl at that, okay? I'm getting puffed again. There it is. Okay. Um, what have we got? Uh, thanks. Great post-Christmas row. Thanks, Lisa. Um, Moscow Field. Thanks, Eric. Greetings from Connecticut. Okay. Right. Awesome. Thanks, team. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. We'll be back again here next week. Um, at the later time, four and a half hours from now, sorry, four hours from now, three, no, three and a half, now it's six o'clock in the morning here, so um, yeah, we'll be at that later time next time, um, other than that, keep training hard, stay safe, social distance, wear a mask, um, and hope you have a happy rest of your holidays, okay, so thanks a lot team, um, have a happy new year and um, yeah, we're going to see you back here in, uh, shit, we are back here in 2021. Beauty. Okay. Thanks a lot, team. Peace out.